Welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to add a new user and also managing existing user accounts. So how we can do that, from our left-hand vertical toolbar, you'll notice there is a users icon. So if we want to add a new user to our agency, we could simply come to new user. Then that'll bring up a box to input any profile information that we need for our new user. So very nice that you can do that on your own without having to reach out to anybody else to do that for you. And then if we want to access our list of all users, we would simply come to all users, click on that. That brings up our list of all users that we have at our agency. So to access any user's profile, simply come to their email, click on it, and it brings up the user's profile. And we'll go over the user profile in depth in a later video, but a few things that I want to point out to you here. You can also mark a user inactive by yourself without having to disable their accounts by reaching out to somebody else. You can do that on your own by simply coming to their status and marking them as inactive. Then you could transfer any items that they were working on, such as incomplete suspenses, clients, policies, to another user at your agency, whoever you pick, and tr click transfer here. Also, you'll notice here, very important, there are different options for user permissions here. So, we want to think about the agency-wide permissions as more like admin rights. So if you don't want the user to have capability to absolutely everything in your agency, especially if your agency has multiple locations, then you want to leave the agency-wide permissions off. So if you want to make sure all of these are off, you can click toggle all, toggle all here to turn them all off. If they have access to any of these, then they have admin rights, so to speak, to access things agency-wide. So if you only want them to be able to access certain things, then what we're going to want to do is turn on location-specific permissions. So you notice in this test agency, I have more than one location. So maybe I want them only to be able to see clients at this one location, if they're only working at the Charlotte location, maybe just companies, downloads, payments, maybe policies, whatever I want them to be able to access, I can turn on. So you can make this very customizable. But if they're going to be working at another location as well, then you'll want to turn on these items that you want them to be able to access for another location. And then once you have these set up, the way that you like them. Very important to come up here and make sure you are saving user. That way all of these options are stored. And also another important feature that you have, if you're, especially if you're taking on a supervisory role at your agency, coming to our all user list, you'll notice that users in here that are active do have the become button next to their name. So if you're clicking on this become button, then you are essentially logging into this user's profile as though you were them. So if you kind of want to see what they're up to, you can click on that button. You can go in there and see how their dashboard is set up, see last viewed clients that they were with, last policies that they were in, so on and so forth. So definitely can be helpful. And once you're finished with looking at their profile, you can simply come back up to the top where the email is and click log out. So this has been some options that you have to manage user profiles at your agency. I hope this has been helpful. Reach out if you have any questions.